So we got some more big news on the Bad Batch and the Mandalorian, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get into the video. So first, let's take a look at the new Bad Batch poster. Star Wars The Bad Batch arrives on Disney Plus on May the 4th and we're celebrating early. Lucasfilm and the Walt Disney Company released today a striking new poster for the series. The poster features Clone Force 99, aka The Bad Batch, along with the young child seen in the show's trailer. Also, despite it is imagery of ships, a fury battle, and Palpatine hovering above. What does it all mean? We can't wait to find out. So this is all very cool. So it looks like Palpatine is going to have a big role in the Bad Batch, and he is on the poster. Now I didn't really think Palpatine was going to have a big role in the Bad Batch, but I feel as though that he will since he really wants these clones. Also guys, yesterday we got a rumor that Ashley Eckstein did some voice work for the Bad Batch, so make sure to check out that video. Now, Castle Transmissions has announced that they know who saved Grogu and that it will be in the Bad Batch, so let's read this article. Everyone remembers the Jedi who saved the galaxy, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke Skywalker, Yoda. These are all names that will go down in Star Wars history, but there's no love for the Jedi who fill the background roles, acting as Jedi and the Jedi Council or training younglings. However, a new leak may reveal that one of these background Jedi could actually be the Jedi who saved Grogu from Order 66. In the latest livestream, known leaker YouTubers, Kessel Run Transmissions were asked by a fan about possible cameos in Bad Batch. They spent some time speculating, but then tipped their hand. Apparently they know who saved Grogu from Order 66, and it's a well-known Jedi, and a huge plot twist. This twist could be revealed in the Bad Batch, which presumably takes place shortly after Order 66, or as a flashback in The Mandalorian Season 3. In the live streams chat, fans were tossing out names left and right, including a lot of the usual suspects, Mace Windu, Quinlan Vos, etc. But one lesser known name kept coming up, a name that would fit the role perfectly, Jocasta Nu. This name may sound unfamiliar, but you've definitely seen her before in Attack of the Clones. Obi-Wan is on his detective mission to track down the lost planet of Kamino. His first stop is the Jedi Archives, where an elderly female Jedi helps him find the maps that seems to have Kamino erased. The elderly Jedi is Jocasta Nu, Jedi Master and Chief Librarian of the Jedi Archives. Such a wild card pick for Grogu's savior may seem unrealistic, but it's actually it makes perfect sense. Grogu was in Jedi training for years. He was born the same year as Anakin, so just as the Jedi saw Annie grow up, they must have seen Grogu grow up as well. Who would better know his life over the past 20-ish years and his legacy as a, as a creature of Yoda's species than the Jedi who knows about the Jedi history as a profession? Now, this would be pretty cool to connect the Bad Batch directly to the Mandalorian. This isn't confirmed, but they have said that they don't report on things that they think are false. They only report things that they think is 100% true, and it seems like this is going to be 100% true. Now, we do have some funny news, and that is Katie Sackhoff, who plays Bo-Katan, was told that Jedi Cameo, who was actually a different Jedi, Luke Skywalker showing up in the Season 2 finale of The Mandalorian, had people cheering all across the globe. But of course, it wasn't Mark Hamill on set, and it was a stunt double. But just who did the cast of The Mandalorian actually think was wielding the lightsaber and rescuing baby Grogu when the scene was shot? Well, it turns out the producers of the show told them that it was actually a totally different Jedi from canon. This was revealed none other by bo herself, actress Katie Sackhoff. This was during a charity live stream. As it turns out, the cast of The Mandalorian all believed the Jedi coming to answer Grogu's calls wasn't Luke at all. They were all told it was Plo Koon. Now for the less hardcore Star Wars fans out there not familiar with the name, Plo Koon was one of the main Jedi masters serving the Republic. He was a recurring character on the animated series and mentor of Ahsoka Katana. First appearing in live action, he shows up originally during the prequel era. He was a member of the Jedi Council in The Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones, and we saw him meet his end during Order 66 and Revenge of the Sith. Of course, in the world of Star Wars, death is not always permanent, just ask Emperor Palpatine. So there's no reason to question Katie Sackhoff when she said she really thought that it was Plo. She makes a joke at her expense during the live stream, saying she was gullible for believing it. But we can hardly blame her. After all, she had just acted in a season where the long-dead Boba Fett sprung back to life. Stranger resurrections have occurred during the 
galaxy far, far away. Now this is very funny that the cast actually believed that Plo Koon was a Jedi that was going to appear. I mean, we literally see him die in Episode 3, but it does all make sense because they don't want any leaks to come out. Also, Bad Batch does come out in a few weeks, so I can't wait. I will be doing a breakdown for each of the episodes, so make sure to stay tuned for that and make sure to subscribe. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button because it does help out the channel, and have a great day.